Hey guys, welcome back to the small engine shop. Today we're not doing a fix it Friday. It's more of a after hours Tuesday. I'm just going to be showing you something that we did at the shop that I thought was pretty awesome. I uh, was really proud of my guys for, for pulling it off and making it work so well and looking good too. They, uh, they put an electric start option on an older Briggs motor that only came with the pull start option. It's on a uh, portable generator welder and the customer was getting older in age, having some, some back problems and things and couldn't really pull rope it. So we, uh, we came up with a few things and got, got it to where now all he's got to do is push a button and it fires up. So stick around and I'll show you what we did. So here's the welder generator. It's an older um, Lincoln Power Arc 4000 stick welder and generator plugs and everything in here oh, the lighting is pretty terrible but it's an old Briggs motor 8 horse originally just had the pull rope option but now it's got electric start option so let's see if I can walk you through what we did on the uh, the block up here it had two bolt holes there you could originally purchase one of these blocks that came with everything you needed to put electric starter on there it came with electric starter but let's see if i can show you yeah up in there um this one was purchased without that option years and years and years ago uh, so now he's getting older in age Still wanting to use it in case the power goes out or needs to fix something with the welder. But he couldn't pour up it fast enough to, to get it to crank. So we had to put a few things on here. Like regular brig starter, it works on their uh, single cylinder lawnmower engines and stuff like that. But we also had to pull the flywheel, put a ring gear on it so the starter would have something to engage to. Then we had to take and fab up uh, a battery tray here. There's a piece of angle iron on the back side of the battery to keep it from shifting. Found this old um, battery battery holder with a key switch and everything. The key switch was bad, didn't feel like doing a key switch, so we got a push button on there. But we ran, um, got your hot wire leading to solenoid, got hot wire leading to the back side of the push button, and then coming out of the push button, go into the uh, signal wire prong on the solenoid. And it's a three prong solenoid, so it grounds through the base of it. And we painted up the this black mount here, the base, bolted it to the frame of the of the welder, and drilled holes through everything, got some threaded rod going back at an angle through this to hold everything tight so nothing moves. And this is a a small was it seven amp hour twelve volt battery. Um, so now all you gotta do, you can still use your pull rope option, but you just go up here, turn your switch to on, choke it, come over here, and you push your push button. This thing is extremely loud but you can you can still the only thing I don't like you can still send power to the starter with the switch off up top so it's not gonna be sparking or anything but it will start turning the flywheel over so if you push a button here you can see the see the starter spin over it just won't fire because there's no spark but I think it's a it's a pretty clean setup I mean Everything was was plasma cut and uh, drilled and, and finished really well. And the customer is going to be super happy with this. And I think we may try to do a few more of these in the future. Um, might even try to do it to, to something that I own that I don't feel like pull starting. But got any questions, just, uh, just let me know. Oh, in the ground wire. 
yeah. So we've got our ground wire. I should I know I should have used black. We didn't have black. Ran it up to the bolt on the back of the starter. That way I know the starter is grounded and got power running under here back to the the hot lug on the starter. All in all, pretty pretty happy with with how it turned out, and uh, definitely definitely looking forward to a few more of these kind of setups. I like doing the the custom stuff, fab work, um, but thought it was pretty neat. Wanted to share everything with with you guys. Just comment below, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks for watching.